so hi everyone today we'll be talking about a very interesting hyperparameter tuning framework called as optuna uh, that has major advantage over grid search that we use by default for hyperparameter tuning uh, so in this particular video we will be going through a uh, small demo on how optuna works and we will be comparing its result with a uh, model which uh, which is using default parameters apart from that in the towards the end we will be discussing a few differences between grid search and optuna and why optuna is better than grid search so let's get started so first of all we'll be importing all the required libraries pandas and scikit-learn majorly the metrics and the model selection part the model that we will be uh, tuning would be support vector machine so uh, first of all we'll be loading this data set train.csv the train.csv file is a titanic data set that we are using which is present in my local now this particular section i'm skipping which is majorly around pre-processing the whole data and transforming the data in the end line you can see that we are, tra we are splitting the train and test parts so that we can analyze the results over both the models so first model that we are training is with default parameters kernel equals to rpf c equals to one gamma equals to auto then we fill it and then the, we are fitting the model and then eventually predicting the results for the test data set so you can see that the results are around nearly 70 percent accuracy that's not bad now the next thing that we are doing is that we would be using optuna for have a parameter tuning so let's understand how Opt optuna is getting used and how it is different from grid search also so in grid search I, uh, if you remember we can go for a disc uh, only discrete value search so it is not continuous but in case of optuna you can provide uh, many methods allow apart from that it is also continuous so uh, it is not taking discrete values in the as parameters hyper parameters but it can con uh, consider continuous values as well apart from that it also uses parallelization and optimization techniques making it more faster as compared to grid search and hence like even if you uh, like just check out the difference between grid search and optuna so it is majorly mentioned that when you're using a very simple model uh, you can go with grid search but optuna is the real king so eventually uh, if you try to use optuna for most of your uh, models uh, you would be getting better hyperparameters so let's understand how optuna is getting used in this particular project so by default we see that with using default parameters you got accuracy of 70 percent so now we will understand how optuna is used for uh, hyperparameter tuning so first of all we will be importing optuna uh, apart from that uh, we will be creating an objective function with passing trial as a parameter so using this trial object that you are passing in the objective function we will be setting up the expected range for the hyperparameters like for example here you can see that uh, trial.suggest underscore log uniform for the parameter c from in the range 0 0.01 to 100 similarly for gamma also 0 0.0001 10 so this is the upper and lower limit that we have given for these parameter hyper parameters that we wish to tune in and eventually using uh, using any number any value between these ranges only optimally trying to figure out the hyper parameter now you have seen that in case of grid search if you have used you are providing discrete value a list of values but in case of uh, optimally you are just providing a range of values and the search space is continuous in nature apart from that uh, we haven't been tuning kernel uh, but for if you wish to Select from list of values also that is also possible. So instead of trial or suggest underscore log uniform, you can do trial or suggest underscore list. So uh, using that, you can tune almost all the three parameters uh, in support vector machine using Optuna. Then you are doing the same thing model dot fit, predicting the results and returning the accuracy. Now, once you see uh, the first snip, uh, the first line code of line, Optuna dot create a study direction equals to maximize. This means that the value that you are getting in return from the objective function, we are aiming to maximize that. Right, so we wish to improve, increase the accuracy. Now, in, for example, if it would have been a regression problem, we might be, the direction would be minimized because assume that the loss function is RMSE, we wish to reduce that loss function. So you're getting my point. What metric we are following depend upon that the direction has to be decided. Now, study not optimize. We are taking the objective function as a parameter and the number of trials we wish to run this whole study for. Now, this can be 100, this can be 1000, this can be 1 lakh depending upon your time and resources. So after once, you execute this here you can see that you are getting different studies trial zero finish with values 0 0.71 0 0.78 0 0.58 so you can see that what are the parameters optina used and eventually what is the score for that particular trial with that parameters now here you can see that we have taken the best parameters from the study and then filled those values in the finely trained model that we are doing so best parameter c best parameter gamma we are fitting just two values now if you go down we can see what were the best parameters you that was c equals to 96 and gamma equals to 0 0.003 and accuracy has jumped from 0 0.69 to 0 0.81 that's a big big jump so here in this particular video you saw how optina 
can be used how optina can be used for training model optimizing uh, for getting the hyperparameter for any model that we wish to train and how optina is even better than grid search as well in terms of latency in terms of the quality of results that we might get in terms of uh, flexibility as well so it is able to incorporate both continuous and discrete search spaces but not with case of grid search so any day it is a better option as compared to grid search